Welcome back to the next episode of the Z over Y or Zoig series. It is my prediction that as we're able to share this with more people, that is, Insomniac and myself sharing with other people, even analyzing our own hierarchies, we'll discover that people's answers will line up with their MBTI quadrants and will line up with their functions. In particular, I believe that SJAs or guardians um, will, that is collaborative tool users who are also sensors, they will report hierarchies that are very much as society and introverted sensing would dictate. That is, their closest relationships to their families and friendships that they have made in very socially acceptable institutions that they've been a part of for a long time. So, you know, friends they've had since elementary, friends they've had since Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts, friends they've had in church since they were kids. Um, and as you diverge from sensors and diverge from collaborative tool users, you will have differentiation. Um, you will have more friendships dictated by specific interests, more dict uh, friendships created by imagic experiences. And that's not the word magic. That's an adjectival form of the word image, imagic. Imagic experiences are ones that cause the friendship building experience and the neurons and the chemical firing to occur much, much faster. That is, in general, you might take a long time in the same situation as co-workers or people to go to church together um, or people to play on a team to slowly develop normal friendship relationship connections. But let's say you're all stranded in the woods together. The experience of having to work together and the experience of constantly firing stress hormones and the need to survive causes that bonding to occur much faster. Um, that's why people that served in war together have a bond that you can't really even understand, can't really look into clearly, and they won't really describe it to you. You just see that there's a, you know, well, that person needs something from me. That's a priority. Or that person has passed from us while I'm dropping everything to go to memorialize their life. Other things can take the place of an imagic experience, but war is the most common. But I mean, it's stranding in the woods. Um, it's experiencing a natural disaster. Or well, there's not a specific list. There are things that create that imagic experience upon you. So, move it. That's going to be people reporting about their own relationship hierarchies. That is the idea that once you've admitted that yes you do, because I think the XYZ example determined, and maybe you found someone that never has, but I believe it's, we are, as humans, looking for things that help us survive, looking for things that help us get through. And beyond the most basic things, people you can rely on, people you can depend on for the things that you need in your life. Um, be it as simple as somebody to have a meal with, somebody to discuss your interests with, someone to go to the game with, um, which for some people is in need. Um, you begin prioritizing because the, 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 the limitations on time and energy, the people that are most satisfying to you and the ways that they benefit your life and hopefully the ways you benefit theirs. So, I'm going to continue this tomorrow. Um, thank you for listening. Um, this is going to be discussed in greater uh, depth at some point on the Coffee and Brisket podcast. So, I thank you. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And, as always, pray more, complain less.